News breaking news, my people. Bomb threats at six schools and parents are being asked to come for their children. Ascot, Greater Portmore in St. Catherine, Lennon and Denby in Clarinda, Immaculate and AISK in St. Andrew. Fire trucks are also seen at Immaculate. So my parents want to be vigilant and want to get to the kids them from the schools that I've called out just now. It's alleged that there are bomb threats at those six schools. Not sure who is making those bomb threats or who made those bomb threats, but prevention better than cure. So we're going to get to the kids them from these schools. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and it's Abel Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, I want to take a look at this video. Credits goes to all angles. And I want to see what I'm going out in the Bull Bay area heading back to St. Thomas. And how the roads are being hurry come up, so to speak. I'm not sure if it's a election or vote type ploy. But we know that elections are in the air. And so the manner at which the roads are being, you know, dug up overnight and a whole heap of chaos in the Bull Bay area heading to St. Thomas, it doesn't look good. Vehicles being, you know, mashed up, impending accidents, you name it. And a whole heap of the people in that area come out and I speak out to the All Angles team. So I'm going to take a listen to my people. While I'm at it, I'm going to drop a like on the video. We had just reached Harborview when we saw a large police team directing traffic. A newly dug trench across the road had caused a traffic pileup. This stuff is not none of them. Superintendent Winchester Watson was overseeing the police team. They dug out the roadway to create some, to some repairs. But the depth of the ditch, it causes the traffic traveling from St. Thomas and from the eastern side of the parish to come to an almost an halt to almost zero. Hence, we have this domino effect going backwards into the Blue Bay community. So it seems as if it's between yesterday and this morning that this was created. And I mean, they did not consult the police as to the effect it would have on the traffic. So it seems this morning that you are getting the reports of Yes, the I just got a report and I saw a video of what was happening in the Bull Bay here. It wasn't looking good, hence I deploy a team. Marvia liking was furious. Last night we had come, this, road, this piece of cutout was not here. When we're going, because this is our route from we travel, we live in St. Thomas, we travel every day. When we had come last night, no lighting, no nothing at all. We just fly straight in the sun. It's a, it's, a, it's a good thing, we never had a speed, that's everybody that did off. And by the time we reach us the next car, vehicle behind me, straight in at it. Right now, my vehicle mash up. Because the muffler go foo 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 and the, the, the rim them bend up. Them need to do better. No lighting, no sign, nothing at all. When we reach down at the bottom, they saw. And when we reach down to the tractor, they tell me, say, road closed, turn back. Dominica, center must come from. You understand? We kind of give thanks for the road improvement. We love it. But you see, if you say I go give you some improvement and in the process like people life I go take it, it not really make no sense. Them they need to put more sign in and even the, the sign in where when the light go and he can show you something and put it at a distance from, from where the, the, the incident really happened. Because they should have put some sign up there so, so you know say you have to put something down here so. I threw bumps on the road and like a sign can cause accident at times because sometimes you don't know when time the lane may have to change. In terms of the lane, sometimes then divert the road to a different angle and then and when you reach near it, you realize so it can cause a big problem. Most time it causes accidents. The road, them need some signs, especially when you have a detour from one side to the next signs. We think the contractor them need to put up some, some signs prior to that. But then can't wait until when time we reach it, down upon the incident, then we realize it. Watch out now and we have to go flash left or flash right. This is an example of a median built as part of the road construction. Because the work is ongoing in areas like this, the traffic is regularly shifted from one side of the road to the other. And in this segment, you'll hear a clipping of the Prime Minister Andrew Oles 
expressing itself based on his whole two-year statutory declaration that has not been certified by the integrity commissions and he spoke this out at the post cabinet briefing yesterday and he's saying basically you know it's a failure on the integrity commission's part of them not certifying his statutory declarations over the last two years and basically saying that he has been complying with all the questions that they've asked and he's still getting more questions to answer which should be completed by the ending of this week but I want to take a listen to what he has to say basically I say I have nothing to hide as well as him can get a special audit to be done on his declarations so it can be privy to the public take a listen I too am concerned that they have not yet certified them. Uh, they have written to me asking various questions. Uh, I have provided answers and they have written to me again and I'm in the process of providing those answers. You will, however, appreciate that it does take some time and particularly for me uh, to get two or three days to go through matters and provide answers. I simply have to be very frugal with my time. Uh, and I suspect the same for the Integrity Commission. To be clear, I have tried not to comment on the issue because I find myself in an invidious position in that I have to protect and defend most, uh, most times the institutions of the country. So I, you know, my silence should not be interpreted as not wanting to address it, but I do have another role, and that role is to protect and to defend the institutions, the laws that we have put in place. So um, I'm hopeful that, uh, in short order, this matter will be resolved. The Integrity Commission will write to persons over and over again, and there would be several persons whose um, statutory declarations are not certified because they are in this continuous process of asking questions and trying to make determinations. Uh, my situation, obviously, would be public, and therefore it would cause some concern. Uh, and so I accept and I acknowledge that. But it would not have been the first time that the Integrity Commission would have taken a long time to resolve my matters. And I suspect that as Prime Minister, uh, they would want to be very detailed in, in what they do. I would hope that uh, there is no difference in my treatment than given to others. And I really do not, uh, I would not want to think so. And I've, I've not contemplated uh, having them audit. I do have to prepare, for example, um, financial statements. Uh, it would not be a challenge to have them audited. Uh, but it, I don't think it would, you know, it, it would probably be useful, but it's still important to have them certified by the Integrity Commission. But I don't know if the Prime Minister forgot that the Integrity Commission can really come and speak to the public. He would have to be that one to come and speak to the public, just like how he spoke up, because this gag order that has been placed on the integrity commissions is preventing them from coming to say why they have not certified his statutory declaration for the past two years. And I heard a few people saying that, you know, what does it change if the statutory declarations um, certify or not? Really? Really? It changes a lot because we want to know that who are governing the country is doing it free from any form of breaches and doing it free from any form of corruption. And so it's very important to have our leaders and to have those who are serving in public offices to declare according to the law. And then put the laws them in place in our people them put the laws them in place to hold them accountable and to ensure that they are governing at least close with some integrity and at least close to some good governance because in truth and in fact this has placed a whole lot of shadows over the prime minister and this has caused a whole lot of persons to lose trust in this government. Also, we've seen where the new House Speaker currently, Juliet Oles, trying to make her mark, make her stamp in the House. 
letting the house know that she's about business, basically. And we know of news that was circulated a couple months ago saying that, you know, a whole heap of parliamentarians have missed, you know, um, 50% of their parliamentary meetings. And right now, Juliet Owens is basically warning the parliamentarians to say that she's going by the standing orders. And the standing order says that if they miss more than six consecutive meetings, then they would be booted from parliament. Members, just a general reminder, there are some individuals who, for whatever reason, are absent from the house for an extended time. Please be advised that we will be checking the records so that the individual or individuals who so comply with having been absent from the parliament over and above what is in keeping with our standing orders, we'll appreciate you will be read out of the parliament. So just for the benefit of any member listening, we are checking the records. But to the job, so I'm commenting on the comment section of people and tell me what to think of the new House Speaker, Juliet Owens' performance so far in Parliament. Um, tell me what to think of the statement that the Prime Minister, Andrew Owens, gave as to why, you know, the Integrity Commission has not certified his statutory declarations over two years now. And what to make me know what to think of that video of roads being dug up and the whole road chaos and the citizens speaking out as it approaches this local government election. Drop on honest opinion in the comment section and let us reason. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anisabel Rose. Check out the YouTube store maker purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notifications, shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment, like, and subscribe. Share out the videos and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Evelyn Meikle. Big up yourself, Evelyn Meikle. Thanks for all the support from each and every subscriber. New viewers, what are you waiting on? Come on board, journey with me, join the family. Subscribe to the channel. Like up the videos, share out some of the videos. My people, sharing and liking go a far away. Subscribe to the channel on the road to 20k. Should have been reached 20k already, now, my people. But slow and steady win the race. We still are putting the work. Stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself.